What's up guys? Welcome to episode two of the Moto Fitness Series. Last week we talked about core stability and core strength and the foundational importance of that when we're talking about saving energy on the bike and having good control over your bike and preventing injury of your back. So moving forward, that is going to stay important. It's going to stay a part of all of our workouts um, on a foundational level. So moving forward today though, I want to talk about a different muscle group involving your legs that plays a huge role in energy saving as well. So what I want to talk about with you guys is your calves, hamstrings, and glutes. Together, those muscles and feeding up into the strong muscles of your back make up what we call the posterior chain or the chain of muscles in the backside of your body that are big muscles, they're powerful muscles, they can handle a lot of workload, and oftentimes they are very neglected in most people. So we wanna make sure that we've got good strength in those muscles because it's gonna to help to take a lot of workload off of our upper body. So if we get into that attack position on our toes, slight bend in the knees, back straight, hips out behind you. Notice how I'm able to hold myself here without my arms for balance. You know, I don't need my arms to put weight on the bars to hold myself up in a standing position. I can do this using my core and using these muscles in the back of my legs, your hamstrings especially, but your calves, hamstrings, and glutes working together to hold you here. These muscles are large, like I said, they can handle a lot of work. And so if we can prioritize using our legs over the course of two hours of riding, then that just means the less work your arms and your forearms and your grip is gonna have to do to support your body weight on the bike. You wanna minimize that so that all that your hands and arms have to do is operate your clutch and your brake and your throttle because that is plenty enough work for these little guys right here. In addition, we need to have balance coming from our feet and our brain body connection to our feet, to our legs when we're on the bike. Again, so that we can minimize any incidences of crashing and having to pick our bikes back up in the middle of a race, because that is the biggest energy waster there is. And so we can just make it through technical sections as efficiently as possible with our feet on the pegs and not breaking your feet off the pegs and dabbing all around. So today we're gonna work on some hamstring and glute and calf strengthening and a lot of balance. So stay tuned. All right, so let's get started on the workout. What we're gonna do is three rounds of eight bent over T's, 10 front to back scales. That's a balance exercise, doing five on each leg, 12 deadlifts, 14 forward back line hops, 16 single leg bent over rows, eight on each leg, and then 18 reverse lunge to single leg jump, nine on each leg, and then 20 air squats. You're gonna go through that three times. I'll show you what all of those are. Good luck. For all of these exercises, I want you guys to keep in mind the core stability that we learned from last week. So for everything that you're doing today, you're keeping your back straight and keeping your core muscles braced to support it. So I don't wanna see any rounded backs any bellies hanging out, keep all those muscles nice and tight. Another thing is whenever you're doing the balance exercises today, I want you to think about spreading your toes and digging your toes into the ground. Don't let your ankle wobble all over the place. Try and use the muscles of your foot to give yourself a stable base to stand on. All right, so bent over T's. I'm gonna look like this. Slight bend in the knees, stick your hips back behind you, your back straight and you're raising the dumbbells out to the side. You can use light dumbbells, you can do no dumbbells, get creative with whatever you have. But we're going to do eight T's here. We're doing front to back scales. So get balanced on one leg, spread those toes and grip the ground, slight bend in the knee and hip, arms out to the sides, legs straight out in front of you, Leg straight out behind you. Point your belly button at the ground. No twisting like this. So leg up, leg behind you. The 
the slower the better with those sometimes, just to make sure that you're not rushing through it. The deadlifts, for the deadlifts you can use dumbbells, you can use a kettlebell, you can fill an old camelback with some rocks or something. Again, feet about peg width apart, slight bend in your knees, stick your hips back behind you. When you bend forward, I want you to use your butt to stand back up. Okay, so 12 of those. Forward back line hops are gonna be calf heavy. So pick a line, pick a spot on the ground. One, two, three, four. Every time you go forward, that's one rep. 14 of those, 16 single leg bent over rows, eight on each leg. Get your dumbbells or whatever it is that you're holding and using. Again, slight bend in the knee. Hinge forward, keep your back straight. Keep your core muscles tight. We're gonna roll. So eight on one side. Eight on the other. Again, always keeping your belly button pointed at the ground. Try not to twist. All right, and then reverse lunge to single leg jump. There we go. Lunge back, jump as high as you can. Lunge back, jump as high as you can. Really push with your toes to get as high off the ground as you can. So nine times on each leg. All right, guys, when you're doing your squats, take your feet about shoulder width apart. You can put your toes slightly outward. And then when you squat down, try to keep your knees apart. Not so far to where your toes come off the ground. Keep all your toes on the ground, but your knees apart. So we don't want this. We don't want that happening. So keep your knees apart, chest up high. So it should look like this. back straight all the way. If you get down here and your back starts to round, you need to stop before that. Keep your back protected. All right. And then you're gonna go for round two and round three and that's it. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.